Hi everyone, as you may know, I'm Cindy and I'm the CEO of OLV Human Services. I'm checking in with you today to share some very exciting news. As we recognize the widespread impact of trauma, what we normally see in the families and the youth and the adults that we serve, we also see in one another and we're certainly seeing it worldwide as a result of the pandemic. We have established a relationship with the Traumatic Stress Institute and we are adopting an evidence-based trauma-informed care model called Risking Connection. Some of you may remember Sanctuary. Sanctuary was an evidence-based model for trauma-informed care that the agency had adopted for a couple of years and discontinued that relationship a few years ago. While we recognize the importance and the value of the tenets of Sanctuary, we also recognize that it didn't necessarily meet the needs of all of us as employees or of the needs that the people that we serve also have. We created a committee that consisted of various people from across the agency to take a look at various evidence-based trauma-informed care models. That committee was charged with assessing the fit for our agency, as well as the financial and the time commitment before making a recommendation to the executive leadership team on which model to adopt. The model that was unanimously selected was Risking Connection. You'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks as we start to do our work with the Traumatic Stress Institute on how we roll this model out. One of the things that I am most proud of is to let you know that the Board of Directors and the Executive Leadership Team are all in support of our implementation of Risking Connection. The committee that has been working together to determine the rollout phases have included not only every member of the executive leadership team, but we also have board of directors representation also. This is a commitment from the top down, sideways, all throughout the organization, and we're very happy to have you be a part of it. You will be contacted to take a survey online that'll take you probably about 30 to 35 minutes to complete, and I'm asking you to please set aside the time to complete that survey. We need to hear your voice, we need to hear what you see as the issues within the agency that can be prioritized in our work with the Traumatic Stress Institute. One of the foundational aspects of Risking Connection, which was one of the primary reasons why we selected it, was the importance of relationships. We all know that most of us get things accomplished more efficiently and effectively when a strong relational bond has been established. Risking Connection is about being purposeful and thoughtful in our establishment of those relationships, not only with one another, but with the people and the families that we serve. We are very excited to be entering this new phase of learning and growing. Because it is an evidence-based model, you will periodically be asked to complete surveys throughout the implementation period. That is important because it informs us on where are we doing really well with our implementation, what are areas that we may have neglected to consider that you see because of your work on the front lines right in the midst of working with the people that, that we serve? If you're interested in becoming more involved in the rollout and the implementation of Risk and Connection, please touch base with your supervisor. The implementation and the rollout of this model is under the expert direction of Hallie Lavner in her new role as Director of Trauma-Informed Care. If you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to Hallie, and I'm sure she will be happy to answer those. I thank you for being here, for always caring about one another and the people that we serve. We certainly couldn't do any of this without you, and we look forward to all of us increasing our skill set and bringing the very best we can to our families and the people who come to us for support and services every day. Thank you.